Elon and security have just shaken things up in the security training space with a rather bold move that could really be make or break. So just what has changed? Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. So back in late 2018, the training company INE had procured eLearn Security and have slowly been merging that into their existing business model. And just this week, we've seen the final step in that process. The full eLearn Security course catalogue has now been merged into the broader INE ecosystem. Up until last week, if you wanted to enrol in an eLearn Security course, you would just pay the single flat fee of the course and get the course material along with an exam voucher. However, this is no longer the case as this has moved to a subscription model with an optional exam as an added extra that you need to pay for. Inside the INE course library, you will find all the same courses that you originally saw on the eLearn Security website. And these have been rebranded into what they call as learning paths. And then each section within one of the eLearn Security courses has now been turned into what they call courses. A little bit confusing, I know. But if you go to learning paths, you can see all the same uh, courses that you would have seen on their website. So everything from the PTP to exploit development, the WAPT, etc. Now while we're here, just a quick note on the difficulty. With eLearn Security courses that I've done, both the PTP and the WAPTX, these are sort of, if you're going, going for a professional course, this would be pretty easy for anybody to do who has a bit of IT background and anything of the advanced level would be that plus a little bit more. They're not too much harder, just that extra little bit. Anything of the novice level, anybody could clear off without much experience at all. So now all of these courses are available to you at any time just with a single subscription. So this brings in a lot of pros and cons when you're actually weighing up this new value model as, to, as opposed to what was going on before. What I certainly like is that you no longer have different tiers of pricing for the same course. Everything is just the same course and you have access to all the courses at the same time. And it seems like you've also got unlimited lab time. So you don't need to worry about finding the perfect combination that suits you. It's just out of the gate, all there for you to consume and to study and learn from. The subscription fee is a whopping 2000 US dollars per year and you have to spend an additional $400 to purchase exam vouchers. So if you compare this with what it was before with say the PTP course, you are looking at about 1900 US dollars for the full course, unlimited lab time, and that included the exam voucher. Now you're looking at $2,400 for the same course and an exam voucher. However, when you do see the value is when you start to take more than one course per year. And from my experience with eLearn Security, this could be quite a real possibility depending on how much free time you have. Also a quick note, if you wanted to subscribe to this, there's a current offer which is buy one year, get a second free, and that code is just there. You can get this code on the website. This isn't me being sponsored by eLearn or anything like that. Now, in addition to your subscription, you also get access to the IT Essentials Pass and the Developer Pass, which are basically just introduction courses, which go over, you know, IT fundamentals, com basic computer science, and basic development skills. So one thing that I've always loved about eLearn Security is that they always teach the bigger picture. They always take their time to explain why things work and how things work, as opposed just to showing you how to do it. This is something that I think is really a, a big strong point of eLearn Security because their course materials are unparalleled. They're just really great in terms of quality. I do like their lab formats as they are, I guess a little bit handholdy, but they work you through the methodology and they teach you things as you learn but there's no real sort of labs that put you on your own and give you that sort of autonomy like you would experience say in the PWK labs where you just basically have, have to hack into machines with no guidance whatsoever. I think those labs are also really good because that helps you build up that rote memory and really irons in your methodology. Also, eLearn Security have recently stated that they want to improve the weight of their certificates. While I haven't had a recruiter ask me yet about any of my eLearn Security certificates, 
I'm keen to watch this space to see just what happens. So what do you think about these changes? Do you see the value for a subscription based model like this? Or do you just see this as an unnecessary price hike? Be sure to leave your comments below and let me know what you think. As always, if you found this video helpful, leave it a like as it helps people like you find content like this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.